Hey guys, it's Lily. Welcome to yet another episode of Marriage Monday. Today is the day where I answer your questions to give you advice on how to have a happy and healthy marriage. And today's question comes from JD Riskel X4. I hope I pronounced it right. And she says, how do you make time for each other with little ones? Chuck E. Cheese is fun and all, but after a while, a nice date night would be great. We've tried date night in before, but by the time the kids fall asleep, I find I'm pretty wiped out too. So this is an awesome question. If you're married, you know that after kids, your love life kind of goes uh, kaputs a little bit. In other words, you have to make a lot of effort to keep that romance alive. So today I'm gonna share with you a few outside and indoor date ideas to hopefully spice up your marriage and awaken to that romantic side that you both had when you first met. So first I'll start off with the outside dating ideas. So I found that with my husband, if we just go, if we get a babysitter and we just go to dinner and a movie, it's not as exciting. If you're like me, you guys, when you go on a date night, you want there to be some kind of fireworks involved, just like that fun, romantic night, which sometimes you can't really plan those. Like sometimes they just happen. You're like, wow, that was an awesome date night. But for the most part, I can promise you that if you just go to dinner and a movie, you're not going to get those fireworks. And it doesn't have to be fireworks all the time. But if you make the effort to get a babysitter, especially if you're paying for someone, then you want it to be an extra special night. So my first date idea is something that my husband did several times back when we lived in Memphis. Okay, you guys, every city has that nice hotel, the nicest hotel around. They have full amenities, they have a spa, they have pools, they have all kind of things. So for a fun day idea, call at that hotel and ask them if there's a fee to use their amenities. Maybe you don't have to be staying there. We paid $15 per person and they allowed us to use their jacuzzi, indoor pool, their whole uh, locker room area. And so my husband and I would pack up a bag, we'd get a babysitter, pack up a bag, and we would go and spend like, we'd probably be out like five hours, but we would go there, we'd be in the jacuzzi, we'd be like in the nice locker room, and this is nice. I'm talking to call like your luxurious hotels, and a lot of them do have amenities fees that you can go and enjoy the amenities. It kind of felt like a little like we were going away on a little vacation and at the end of the night we just packed up and drove home but it was so romantic and we just felt excited to be in this fancy place so sometimes switching up the atmosphere will just spark that romance idea number two is a little more simple order a delicious fancy dessert from a restaurant and then go to the airport and take a blanket lay it on top of your hood maybe you could open your trunk and just kind of have like a dessert and talk night as you watch the planes take off. It's super romantic and what it does is it just invokes you having conversation with a sweet dessert and just talking to your husband and just having that time. If you wanna be a little extra special, you can bring some candles and just like watching the planes go up, maybe you can dream and talk about the places that you wanna to travel to, but it's something romantic about seeing those planes fly out and then you have a delicious dessert to accompany you and it just makes for a fun heart-to-heart -heart night. Next, may I suggest double dating? Something about being out with another couple just makes you hold on to your loved one a little tighter. I don't know, but sometimes being out in double dates just makes me love my husband a little more. Um, maybe you just wanna show off in front of the other couple how in love you are. I don't know what it is. But fun things to do on double dates, you can do active things. Go bike riding, hiking. Um, an art show, go swimming, maybe go in a jacuzzi, find someone that has a jacuzzi. Every apartment complex has a jacuzzi. Ask a friend if you can go into their apartment complex and use their jacuzzi. But doing something like that with other couples just makes you hold on to your partner a little tighter and makes you feel more in love. Double dating. Ooh, another one. This one's my favorite. Take dance lessons. My husband and I took salsa lessons before the kids, but we totally want to do this again by taking salsa lessons. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it would just help us like work together as a couple and we were both at the same level learning. And so what it did was at the end, when we finally like knew the dance moves and he was dancing all around me and we were cha-cha-cha doing all that, it just was like so much fun. And plus we could like show off together doing our new dance moves, which just made us feel closer as a couple. So dance lessons, there's salsa, there's step, you can do swing, dee dee dee, ballroom, whatever it is, take dance lessons, it's so much fun. Okay, now for the indoor idea. So maybe you don't have time to A, hire a babysitter, maybe you don't have the money, maybe you just can't get away 
uh, but you still want to do something special and romantic, here are my three little ideas of romantic things you can do. First one, I like to make homemade hot cocoa and popcorn and just rent a movie. If you have DirecTV, splurge a little bit. Spend the $5.99 that you can like actually buy it from the box and you don't have to go anywhere and just do something special like that. Curl up to a nice movie once the kids are in bed and it'll feel romantic and fun. My other idea also involves food. Food just makes love go round. So bake a loaf of fresh bread and maybe make some honey butter on the side. Sit outside, build a little campfire, put your seats maybe facing like if you have a pretty lake in your area or just right out front being outside. Um, light some candles. You can just light a big candle. Just something about having that fire in front of you and you could just talk and enjoy some yummy warm bread with some honey butter. It's just something that you can do ahead of time making this bread and preparing your way for this fun little intimate moment to just talk and eat some yummy bread together with your hubby. And last is my risque idea. Have you guys ever experimented buying a little fun little toy or a lingerie outfit, something different that you can do if you're worried like I am about being inside of a raunchy environment where you can buy these little fun things to experiment with, then go to places like Spencer's. I love Spencer's, they have like crazy stuff, but in the very back they have a little adult section which isn't too raunchy, and you can still pick out something fun different, you guys, just something different than what you normally do. And that's what all of my ideas are about. What is something different that can get you guys excited more than just dinner and a movie? It's a little fun to just like experiment. Even Walmart has a little section, you guys. So maybe doing something like that and surprise your husband. He'll be like, whoa, what's this? So the most important thing I want you to realize is that it doesn't really matter what you do, but if you plan something and make some effort, then it's gonna feel romantic and fun. If you just wanna sit there and think that romance is just gonna happen, it probably isn't. And if anything, it's gonna get worse, worse, and dwindle more and more. You have to make an effort, you guys. So I know you're tired. I know that the kids have you wiped out, but I promise you that if you were planning something that you're gonna make your bread or your sweet dessert, you won't be tired. You'll be excited to go forward with your plan. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Give this video a thumbs up if you like Marriage Mondays. If you like my cute background, I'm slowly working on it. And leave your questions in the comments below. Mwah. Bye. Before I leave, I want to tell you about two new products that I have on my website. This is my quarter sleeve half shirt. You can wear them underneath spaghetti strap dresses if you want to cover your arms that are a little out of shape. These are brand new, just released. I also have my cap sleeve. This is amazing. I'm actually wearing one right now under this shirt because it's super see-through. This cap sleeve cuts off right here, right under the boobs. You guys, these are my new tops I'm featuring, as well as my amazing half camis. These are just designed to help you cover your cleavage in low-cut shirts and dresses without having the heat, the added layers. I know you're gonna love them, so go check out my website, cupcakecovertops.com, and order your tops today. Bye.